So let's say that you only have a phone, whether an iPhone, an Android, and you want to have a, a video where you're reading a script and that way uh, what you say is very accurate, very precise. Well, the problem is, is that many times when this happens and you are reading a script, you're still looking down or you're looking to the side or wherever the script is. And there's teleprompters that uh, I've actually made a video in the past about a teleprompter, but there's teleprompters where you can actually put the script basically in front of your lens. And that way you're looking at the lens while actually reading the text. And this is great. There's a inexpensive teleprompters, there's more expensive teleprompters. And what I want to talk about today is a very inexpensive one. And it's an app that is available for the iPhone. And there's also some for Android phones. This app is called Prompt Smart Pro. And there are alternatives to this that actually charge a subscription, but this one has a one-time fee and you never have to pay for it again. What's really nice about this app is that inside of the app, you actually will put in your script and it's just plain text. And then when you hit play, it's going to put the text over a video of yourself and you can actually make it so that the text is close to the camera so that when you're reading the text, it actually looks like you're looking at the lens. I'm gonna head over to the app and I'm gonna read a script from one of the best movies of all time, Independence Day. In less than an hour, aircrafts from here will join others from around the world and you will be launching the largest aerial battle in the history of mankind. Mankind, that word should have new meaning for all of us today. We can't be consumed by our petty differences anymore. We will be united in common interests. Perhaps it's fate that today is the 4th of July and you will once again be fighting for our freedom, not from tyranny, oppression, or perse persecution, but from annihilation. We're fighting for our right to live, to exist. And should we win today, the 4th of July will no longer be known as an American holiday, but it is the day when the world declared in one voice, we will not go quietly into the night. We will not vanish without a fight. We're going to live on. We're going to survive. Today, we celebrate our Independence Day. Now, as you watch the video, you probably notice that it still looks like I'm not looking exactly at the camera. It's impossible because the camera is not where the screen is. But the app has done a really good job to get it as close to the camera as possible so that in some ways it does look like you're looking at the lens. So if you're interested in an app like this to uh, record videos of yourself using the front facing camera and make it as clean as possible with a script and uh, by the way, the text moves as you read it. It uses AI and voice recognition to know when you read certain words. That is brilliant. So I'm gonna to link to this app in the description down below if you're interested, check it out. And um, hope you, I hope you dig it. In less than an hour, aircrafts from here will join others from around the world. And you will be launching the largest aerial battle in the history of mankind. Mankind, that word should have new meaning for all of us today. We can't be consumed by our petty differences anymore. We will be united in our common interests. Perhaps it's fate that today is the 4th of July and you will once again be fighting for our freedom, not from tyranny, oppression, or persecution, but from annihilation. We're fighting for our right to live, to exist. And should we win today, the 4th of July will no longer be known as an American president holiday. But in this day, when the world declared in one voice, we will not go quietly into the night. We will not vanish without a fight. We're going to live on. We're going to survive. Today, we celebrate our Independence Day.